How's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem. Maximum width of binary tree. Given a binary tree, write a function to get the maximum width of the given tree. The width of a tree is the maximum width among all the labels. It is given that the width of one label is defined as the length between the end nodes, the leftmost and the rightmost null null nodes in the label, where the null nodes between the end nodes are also counted in the length calculation. So let us consider one example first. So if you see for this example, the width of this label is 1. The width for this label is 2 and for this label it is 4. Why is it 4? Because we have to also consider the null value over here. Correct. It is also given over here. We have to consider the null value as well. Correct. So now let us see how we can solve this problem. So over here I have drawn a binary tree and uh, in this question we have to find the maximum width of the binary tree. That is we have to find the width of each label and then we have to max and we have, then we have to return the maximum width. So since we have to find the width of each label, the first thing that should come to your mind is the label or traversal or the breadth first search. So if you see, we iterate the nodes in this fashion in the label or traversal. We go for the first label, then to the second label, then to the third label and finally to the fourth label. Correct. Now in this question, what do I have to find is I have to find the width of each label. So I have to find the width for label I. And then I have to simply return the maximum of all these widths. Correct. Now suppose the question was not to find the maximum of all these widths. In, uh, instead, we have to find the number of nodes in each label and we have to return the maximum of it. Correct. So what I'm saying is in this question, I have to find the width of each label and I, then I have to return the maximum amount of it. So instead if the question is to find the number of nodes in each label, and then we have to return the maximum of it. What we can do is while doing the label or traversal, we can maintain a count variable. Correct. And whenever we are visiting a node, we can simply increment the count by one. So see this technique won't be applicable in this case. Why is it so? Because in the width, we are also considering the null null nodes. So over here, we have to maintain some index. So what I'm going to do is for a parent index i, the left child index is going to be 2 into i and the right child index is going to be 2 into i plus 1. Correct. So if you see we uh, follow this same indexing in the heap as well. So this is going to be index 0. So if you uh, uh, use these formulas for the left child it is 2 into 0 which is again 0. For this it is 2 into 0 plus 1 which is 1. For this it is going to be 2 into 0 which is again going to be 0. This is 2 into 0 plus 1 which is 1 over here it is going to be 2 into 1 plus 1 and this is uh, 2 into 1 plus 1 over here this is 2 into 1 and this is 2 into 1 plus 1 so similarly if you fill this this is 0 this is 1 for this it is going to be 3 for 3 it is going to be 2 into i that is 6 over here and for this it is 7 over here so now if you need to calculate the width of each label so what you can do is suppose i have to find the width of this label so you can what you can do over here is I can get the index of the last node that is 3 then I can get the index of the first node that is 0 I can subtract these two values and I can simply add 1 to it so if you see this is 4 which is equal to the width of this label let us try to find the width of this label now so if you see I need the width of the that is the index of the rightmost node that is 7 then I need the index of the first node which is 0. I subtract this thing and I'll just add 1 to it so it will give 8. So this is the width of this label. So this is how we are going to calculate the width of each label and simply we have to return the maximum width out of these widths. Correct. Now uh, so in uh, basic BFS or the breadth first search or the label order traversal we maintain a queue of tree node. The only difference over here is going to be instead of maintaining a queue of tree node we are going to maintain a queue of pair of tree node comma integer. Why is it so? Because for each node we are going to maintain an index. That's why we have to maintain this thing. Correct. And when we are iterating over a particular label we have to somehow maintain the first node and the last node. That is the index of the first node and the index of the last node. And once this traversal is done, we will simply find the width of this using this formula and we will update the max width in case it is in case this width is greater than the max width. 
So let me write the code for this thing and then things will be more clear. So first we will do the null check that is in case root equal equal null you can simply return 0. Next what we are going to do is we are going to maintain a queue of pair of tree node comma integer. Let us name it as q which is equals to new linked list. Now over here we are going to insert the first the root node that is new pair and for root node the index is going to be 0 as discussed in the video. After this we will maintain a variable called max width which is initially 0. Now we will simply do the BFS or the label order traversal so this is while q is not empty Now over here we have the size as q dot size and we will say while size minus minus is greater than 0 we will do this thing correct. Now over here what we have to do is uh, so in this while loop we are going through each label one by one correct. So we have to maintain first the first node that's what I discussed about. So over here I have to maintain so while iterating over a particular label, I have to maintain its first node and I have to maintain its last node so that I, can, I will be able to calculate the width of this label using the formula. Correct. So that's what I'm doing over there. So over here, I'll have the pair of tree node comma integer, which is first using q dot peak. I'm not removing it. I'm just maintaining it. Correct. And I will also have a pair of tree node comma integer that is current which is null. Correct. So we will use uh, cur over here is over here. So we will have cur is equals to q dot pole. That is we are removing it from the q. So for this thing the tree node node is going to be cur dot get correct because we have a pair of tree node comma integer and using the get value we will find the index for this correct so for this index is going to be equal to cur dot get value correct now we are, this is simple bfs so if node dot left not equals null we will simply say q dot offer new pair here we will provide node dot left and the index is going to be 2 into index for the left child. So let me just copy this thing. I am doing it for the right child now. So I will add node dot right and the index is going to be 2 into index plus 1. So if you see after this while loop is over. So after this while loop is over I have maintained the first node over here. And the last node will be in current. So you can do what you can do over here is you can say max width is equals to math dot max of max width and the width of the current label, which is equals to what? Which is equals to cur dot get value minus first dot get value plus one and uh, this is a function right so let me just put the parenthesis as well so after this is done we will simply return the max width correct so let me just uh, run this code once so it's giving the correct result let me submit a solution and it got accepted so I guess that's it from this video. In case you have learned anything from the video, you can hit that like button and in order to support my work, you may consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.